Hello students, in this video we'll begin our discussion of uniform continuity. Definition. We say that F mapping E into R is uniformly continuous on E if for every epsilon greater than zero, there is delta such that x minus y less than delta implies f of x minus f of y less than epsilon for all x and y in the set E, for all x and y in the set E. So let's see an example of something like that. So let's suppose, <clears throat> so an example, f of x, which is just mx plus b, a linear function, is uniformly continuous on all of r. And so the proof of this, so proof, let epsilon be greater than zero, and choose delta to be epsilon over m, then if x minus y is less than delta, then what can we say? Then mx plus b minus my plus b is exactly just equal to is exactly equal to just absolute value of m, let's put absolute value of m over here doing because m is negative, times x minus y, and that's less than absolute m times delta, and that of course is just going to be epsilon. So this is true for, I made no assumptions on x and y, it's true for all values of x and y, for any x and y in r. So x and y over here are just any real numbers, okay? Now to find an example of a function which is not uniformly continuous, we need to do the following. So let me look at the logical negation of this statement over here. So if f is not uniformly continuous on E, so f fails to be uniformly continuous, on a set E, if there is epsilon zero greater than zero, such that for all delta greater than zero, we have x minus y less than delta implies that f of x minus f of y is strictly bigger than or equal to this epsilon zero for x and y, for some x and y in the set, sum, okay? And so what this implies, if I take a, a sequence of delta getting small, for example, so if we take, taking delta equals one over n, we can find a sequence, a pair of sequences, a pair of sequences, xn and yn, this is for some x and y and r, that's the negation, some sequences xn and yn, with their difference less than 1 over n, xn minus yn less than 1 over n, and f of xn minus f of yn bigger than or equal to epsilon 0. So if we can show this condition is true, then I can, then that will show up. That would be an example of a function that fails to be uniformly continuous on E, okay? So now what we're going to do is we'll provide an example of this. So here's the example of a function which is not uniformly continuous. Example f of x, which is x squared, is not uniformly continuous on R. And here's what we're going to do. So I need to find a sequence. So I'm going to do is I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose xn to be n plus 1 over n, and yn to be what? Just to be n. Of course, now their difference is equal to n, but I can make it just a little bit less if I really want. So I could put maybe like an n over 2 over here. It won't change my argument so much. Okay. 
So here's what we're going to do. We're going to look at that sequence over here. And what? Mm. Or I can put like a 2 over n. Put a 2 over n over here. It won't change anything, but I would, well, let's just put a 2 over n over there. Okay. Now, definitely what's happening. So if there's a 2n in the denominator, then I have xn minus yn is just 1 over 2n, which is less than 1 over n, right? But now what happens when I look at this difference of the squares, what will happen? So if I do xn squared minus yn squared, xn squared minus yn squared, what will that be an absolute value? Well, the xn squared is going to be what? It's going to be n squared plus twi two copies of this over here. So I'm going to have two of those, uh, the two uh, times n. So I'm going to have a one half. So if I multiply these two terms together, I'm going to have just a one half. Yeah. And then another one half. So it's going to give me a one, a one over here then a 1 over 4n squared, and then subtract off n squared from this, so the n squareds cancel out. And so this thing over here is, and there are perhaps the values over here, this is just 1 plus 1 over 4n squared, which is strictly bigger than 1. So what I've done is I found a sequence of points, x and y n, whose difference is less than 1 over n, such that the square of those two sequences is bigger than or equal to some fixed value epsilon naught, which proves that x squared is not uniformly continuous on the real line. Thank you very much.